All right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody. Sorry for the couple minute delay. I realized I never sent out a link in my uh, usual Saturday email, so wanted to make sure that was squared away. How is everyone doing this evening? Looks like we had some people, uh, people in here a while before. Hey, Searchlight and Nike. James Clark, Lewis Wong, Arrow Moose, BBR2, Yoshian, Pathologically Cute, Raptor, Daniel Wooten, Kid Robot Builder, Mr. Jayhound, what is up, R. Riker? How is everyone doing this evening? Hopefully everybody can hear me. Hopefully the sound is good. Back after a week off. Took a week off last week. Spent some time with the family. Kind of get away a little bit focus on something other than the business for at least, you know, day, day and a half, whatever. It was a good little break. But obviously I'm back doing some more building tonight. Oh, there's runners now. I'm on to weapons and accessories and stuff today. Looks like most of this runner I1, I think, is the main runner I need right now. Gunpla Viking, and Martin, Michael Alba, Jason Galloway. Have logically cute. Can't stay tonight, but I want to swing by and say hi. Also, congrats on securing a warehouse. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Miss George. You wish pretty good. My D&D and sending sticks arrived a little before stream. Sweet. It's good to hear. Uh, before I get too far tonight, we're doing we're still doing the giveaways. Tonight we're giving away the uh, full mechanics 1100 Grimgird. I've heard good things about this kit. I think it's supposed to be one of the better full mechanics kits. It definitely looks really awesome. Kind of want to build one. It's definitely on the list of kits that. I know nothing about other than seeing them in the warehouse. And I kind of want one. Hey Victoria, what's going on? Complete Viking, how's the truck? Good. It's just a little surprise. Dropped it off yesterday for a simple oil change, tire rotation, and uh, inspection. Didn't pass inspection. Needed a uh, new headlight assembly because the one I have on the right was cracked so now my truck looks a little funny because one side's brand new but I didn't want to dish out for a new one for the other side just for the looks it's a 10 year old truck and uh, I had to do do some of the brake stuff so it, it definitely added up a little bit a little more than I had planned to spend but whatever I'll uh, live I guess okay B Magnum 25 28 and 19 what else is going on? The uh, Live 10 code is good tonight, as it has been for a while now. There's also a MW Move code good for 15% off a selection of items to help uh, lighten the load for the move that's coming up. I should grab a link for that. I'll do that in a moment here. I'll throw that in the chat. Um, We're moving somewhere in the next two weeks, probably. I don't have an exact date yet, because I don't know exactly when I'll get possession of the space. It's supposed to be the first, but some of the electrical stuff is uh, taking a little longer than expected. I think they're probably having trouble getting the electrician in there to do the electric work. I feel your pain, man. We just bought two ball joints with control bars for our car. Our pockets are hurting. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. They wanted me to do the uh, the wheel bearings or something like that too, but those weren't dire. Looks like it's a 
put those off, thankfully, until next time. I just see the sail link down in the chat. Let me make a bicorn Gundam. There's a joke in there if you know what a bicorn is. I... Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. What's up, Victor? Terry Royal, what's going on, Terry? JT the Maggot, how's it going? Down the late been stalking the mech web Facebook to see if my Gundam got featured. Hey, what's up, Ian? All right, where was I? What else is there to talk about? That's the main stuff going on right now. Looking forward to this move and getting that over with. using a different type of flow mechanic for the truck. Yeah, pretty much. It's one of those things where it's getting me into that range where I'm starting to wonder a little bit where the cost of repairs outweighs the cost of just getting a new truck or a newer truck. It's a 2010 Tacoma. But Tacomas are supposed to be able to be run way into the ground. You should be able to run that it's only got like 140,000 on it. In theory, I should be able to get up to, you know, a quarter million or more. Really don't want to spend the money on a new truck. Hey everyone, how's it going? What's up, Arbiter or Moose? I'm debating about getting a Madworks scribe. That reminds me, we uh, we've got Madworks on the site now. He announced that yesterday, I think it was. Madworks chisels, sanding sponges, a whole lot of cool scribing guides, scribing tape, a few detailed parts, little micro saws, spin blades. Good uh, collection of tools from, from those guys. People have been asking for Madworks for a while, so I'm stoked to have it in stock now. It's been taking forever to get those listings together. Going well, Arbiter. Life is good. Tired at a late night last night. I've been doing pretty good about getting to bed earlier, but not last night apparently. The one the one night where I've got a really early morning that I have to get up for. Whatever. Search like you think of making the store look like a store or sticking true to the warehouse name. It's gonna be more or less more warehouse, at least inside. The goal is to optimize for picking and shipping and all that kind of stuff. I don't anticipate having people in there very often. It's just, it's not really that big and it's hard to manage both at the same time. So I think we'll do some events in there and stuff, but we probably won't just 
be uh, we won't have a ton of like hours that we're just like open for people to come into the store. Very limited, if, if anything, but it's probably going to be after we get kind of a, I don't know, get settled, get everything figured out. Get used to operating in the new space, maybe get someone hired to uh, do some help, get some help in there. Weeks K looking good. Thanks, Weeks. I'm like excited and like anxious about moving on to weapons for this kit because one of the things I hear all the time about this one is that there's just so many weapons just redoing them. Like we get to these Gatlings, there's just so many Gatlings to do. And multiple shields and all that kind of stuff. Frosty, hi Nick, and everyone, what's up, Frosty? tried the nano glass bar for wet sanding I have not I've not tried any wet sanding at this point actually probably should try it I've got like sticky notes hanging off of me I thought I had this kit should have some sort of sticker sheet or something right what did I do with it Floating around the most awkward place around here. I really need to clean up my my office here. Things have just become obscene. Okay, I'll just find it later. I'm pretty sure I can get in there and put it in there later. Sounds like Nick just opened up 10 chip bags. That sounds pretty good. Complete binge on chips. What are your favorite, favorite kinds of uh, chips? I'm big on uh, barbecue flavored chips lately. got my moving order and so let's see if I can do God Gundam some HG justice nice thank you Victoria Japan what's everyone building good question what is everyone building are we my build area is literally anywhere I can find space in my house I know how that goes I'm lucky to have a desk here I just I don't have time to do much stuff I barely have time to build let alone organize or clean Hopefully once the warehouse is situated, I'll be able to focus a little more of my time when I'm here on me stuff. A little more organization, hopefully a little more building. Uh, Not killer is like, 
Uh, it's wavy lays because I'm basic. Some, nothing wrong with classics. Grab my chili cheese Fritos now. Sounds pretty good. Sun chips are my addiction. Oh, those are the sun chips. Sun chips are pretty good. Mr. Trash Can Bob likes Funyuns. Let's see, Kid Robot Builders building HD Metallic Freedom Gundam. That's cool. Like a metal coated version. Flaming Cheetos are great. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I like hot potato chips. They're harder to eat, like in quantity, I think. I have trouble with self control sometimes with food. Ketchup chips. I don't know what ketchup chips are. Frosty. John Abast Abasto. Finishing the decals for the MG Wing Verka. Nice. Jay Hounds finishing up the R. Gyagya. Victoria's finishing up Denial Gundam. Char's in charge. Hi, Nick. Good evening, everyone. What's up, Char? I got a way to move into a two bedroom apartment to be able to use the second room and add desk area. That's nice. When I first got out of college, my first apartment, I, I somehow lucked out and grabbed a two bedroom apartment so I could have a, a spare room as like a work room. I wasn't doing Gunpla at the time, but it, I was able to put a workbench in there to do stuff. Probably drove my neighbors nuts. Banging away working on projects late at night. Smoked Gouda chips. Mmm, that kind of sounds good. Mr. Trash Can Bob, thinking I may build the HG Force Impulse tonight. Nice. Gunpla if I can build some 30 minute mission scene base ones. That's cool. How do you like that? Have you built, finished any of them yet? Those scene bases? They look like a really cool idea. I haven't been able to play with any of them yet. Then you Wooten. So, which should I get, Nick? The MG X or MG RX 78 4? Uh, I don't know. I think the double X is a newer kit. They both look kind of cool. I have no personal connection to either and haven't built either of them, so... I have to look at them again to choose. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one I would choose. <laughs> oh my god, whiskey went down the wrong pipe, it burns it. Don't breathe whiskey, guys. Not a good idea. Sort of as a limited kit paired with an impulse gun on the plastic. is like a pearl shine. Ah, I see like a metal injection or whatever. Those look kind of cool sometimes. Michael Alba, do you ever think about the next kit to build while you're halfway done or just start one? Oh, I think about kits all the time that I want to build what the next project is. Problem is I'm like seven projects deep right now with all work in progress I gotta finish, so. I'm trying to bang, knock that list down. Bang out a few kits here, get that, uh, that work in progress list a little bit smaller. Your crew is about to start my HG full armor gun. I'm nice. And would not get both better forgiveness and permission, right? Exactly. I mean, if you like them both, you'll build them eventually, probably. I think as long as you, you're finishing your backlog is within reason, you're probably in the okay zone. Ketchup chips is a must try, Nick. It's from hers. Interesting. What do they like? Is it like a ketchup flavored potato chip or? I've never heard of those. 
Mini Anji taking the night off. I'm gonna put a hangout here because just finished the long haul build of MG Parvatos for a contest. Yeah, that could be uh, a bit of a burn there. Okay. Twenty-two, twenty-four, and twenty-nine. You can, uh, Michael Alba says, "Are you going to display the wing kick collection you have built so at your new warehouse? We know you're a Gundam wing fan. I don't know. They're probably going to sit here. I have to figure out what I might display at the warehouse. It'll probably be a little while before I have any sort of display case over there. I think if I ever do my." Uh, Maganac uh, diorama, that'll probably be a warehouse thing. I don't even know if I could fit it at the new warehouse even. Based on what I have planned, it's gonna be huge. Two twenty-four twenty-nine. Yoshin, what do you think your next stream build will be? I'm not sure. Thinking about that a little bit, I'm probably, so I want to continue this thing through decals and all that stuff on here, I think. Hopefully it doesn't fatigue people too much. And I just, I got to finish up some projects. I've got a, uh, a Leo halfway there to be prepped for painting. I want to try painting on the stream at some point. So I want to finish that one up. I got a bunch of more wing master grades that need uh, decals and stuff. I want, kind of want to start tackling more high grade projects and do some painting. So I've been doing mostly snap builds on the streams and stuff and really haven't been able to spend time painting. So that might be my way to force myself to paint. George Lakea, will you be selling locally as a shop too? We'll probably sell a little bit. We'll, I plan on at some point. I don't know how long it'll take before I'm ready to roll it out, but we'll probably do local pickup first. And then we, we will probably allow people in for limited hours. Like we might decide we're gonna have like a three hour thing on a certain day or something, depending on how like reopening stuff goes. but I don't plan on doing it full time because it just really puts a damper on efficiency for packing orders. So I could see like a Friday afternoon, early evening thing or something being a thing or something, but we'll see. I wouldn't mind doing that eventually, but not quite ready for that yet. Cloudly, you should definitely have the, the sand rock and centerpiece leader that they'll be there. I plan on building like a like the entire Maganac base, but not not really. It's not going to be true to the anime. It's going to be like a redesign, a more modernized kind of base, probably like under attack. So there'll be units like still in the getting ready to go, and Leo's trying to fight their way in or something. RDD and next stream should be an SD kit to see if you can finish it in one night while keeping up with the chat. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should see. I should try, like, just for the hell of it, can I can I build and paint a kit all in one night? Like, it's a really bad idea. But see what happens if I try. Yoshin, did you buy anything during the base event? I did not. I, I actually was like without internet access a good part of last weekend. 
so it would have been hard to anyway. But nothing I saw leading up to it just screamed to me that I really needed to have. I'm not really into like clear kits and stuff. I'm not not a huge limited fan. Like if I went to Japan, I'd probably grab some Gundam based stuff as souvenirs because I went there, but I don't know that I would like I need to have them. Uh, let's see. Frosty of taste, just like ketchup, sweet and tangy. Interesting. If I ever see them, I'll have to uh, grab them, I guess, just, just because you said so. Louis Wong, how big is your model backlog? Too big. I think I've got 20 or 30 kits on there. A lot of them came from the early Mecha Warehouse days. There were a bunch of kits that I bought to sell on Amazon, and I couldn't list them on Amazon due to gating at the time and so I had pretty much purchased kits based on like yeah I'd build that someday and so a lot of them ended up on my backlog so hopefully I can pick up the pace a little bit and start getting through them because it's taken me forever to get through kits I've been working on this one for how long now so it would be cool to see a side 7 replica hanging from the ceiling with maybe a red comet and a granddaddy dangling in a battle near it that'd be pretty cool Ceiling's pretty high, though. I'm not sure I can uh, hang stuff from the ceiling. <laughs> I wonder the landlord would think about me trying to hang something. And it wouldn't added a master grade telegis as well. If I don't post the Discord server for a while, I'm probably buried in the backyard. <laughs> if we don't hear from you, we'll send a search party. Lewis Wong, I'm sure your base design will be better anyway. I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I just it's gonna be a lot of time because I plan on basically painting and weathering the entire core. So that's that's a lot of kits. I gotta really have my my painting process streamlined. Gumple University. What's up, Gumple University? How's it going, dude? How you been, man? Fredo. Just finished building the MGZZ for Ka. Just got the water slides left. Getting water slides a second try. So far, so good. If you want to submit it to the spotlight, submission website, nice. We actually got a bunch of those in, I think, this week. But they won't go up on the website until after the move because it's just no time. I'm trying to thin stuff out, not add more to the website. They're still nicely packed from coming from the uh, distributor. James Clark, I'm the same. I couldn't buy any of the clear kits. I'd end up messing it up somehow. Like some of them are cool. I just I don't. I'm not that that into it. Unicorns looking good there, Nick. Thanks, Cody. Is this the full armor unicorn? It is. So I got tons of weapons to do. We'll see if I finish them. You know, this month, probably not. Already, Nick, how did you get a gun pledge being out of Gundam for what sounds like several years? So I was into Gundam as a teenager, like in high school and stuff. And then, you know, life happened, forgot all about that stuff. You know, went to college, etc. And then uh, in 2016, I went to Japan for um, a karate tournament. Why does this feel like it? I should ex hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I went to Japan for a karate tournament. And uh, at the, like a couple blocks from the hotel we stayed at in Tokyo for the first leg of the trip was a, this amazing toy store that had like a whole floor dedicated to like hobby type stuff. Tons of Gundam model kits. You know, they had like slot cars and all the other kind of stuff too. But they had some displays with some built kits and I just like 
an epiphany hit hit me when I went in there. It's like, holy crap, I forgot all about Gundam and how awesome it was. And it was also the point that I realized that the Gundam universe is way larger than just Gundam Wing. So I was already like Googling stuff, I'm, like sitting there in the hotel room. Still getting used to the time change. And then uh, when we, we went to Shizuoka, which is basically like the model capital of Japan. That's where a lot of the model manufacturers exist. And there was a hobby museum, like a block or two from the hotel. So looking for low key stuff to do to kill, kill time before the tournament, not get tired and um, roughed up before having to fight. Spent some time in there. And that was that was amazing too. They had like rooms and rooms full of Gundam builds. And so I knew when I got back from Japan I, I had to get into the hobby. At least check it out. Bot kit soon after I got back. What's up, Metalhead? Louis Wong, how long does it take usually take you to finish a real grade? I don't know what my usual time is. This is the first time I've done a real grade, so my average is starting out pretty high. Terry Royal, have you been to Hiroshima? I have not. When I went, we we spent the first first four or five days in uh, Tokyo, and then we went to Shizuoka where the tournament was, and then we went home from there. So note to anybody, if you're ever down away from Tokyo, this probably goes for anywhere you travel, but don't don't uh, have an early morning flight and then leave from a place several hours away before you got to do, you know, like 13 hours of flying or whatever. That was a very exhausting day. David, I finally finished my RG Ava build today since I got the aftermarket metal spear in the mail today after waiting a month. Nice. Where is I supposed to do what I missed? Not much. I'll we'll probably do the first draw soon here. Haven't done any draws yet. Yeah, I'm sorry I showed up late. Nick, how it goes? Good, Banham. What's going on? Existing, enjoying life. Trying to ignore the pressure of all the packages I probably have to uh, pack to ship out for Monday. With the sale going on. Faust currently working, watching Gundam Sea Destiny. Calum, how do I get in the Discord? If you've purchased anything, Calum, you can uh, send me a DM or email. We keep it to people who are customers only because it really keeps the place uh, a lot simpler to administrate. But you should have got an email when you placed your order, so if you might want to check your inbox or your spam filter first. This makes me want to buy them. Ha ha ha. I, order. I can't wait for the stuff to say order. That's the worst part, especially with pre orders, waiting for things to come in. I'm dying for all my P Bandai uh, wing stuff. I mean, metaphorically dying, of course. And even then, I won't have time to build it when it comes in, so. Or at least I don't think I will. Hopefully, I can change that. I was stationed in Iwakuni from 02 to 04 in the Navy. It's an outdoor strip multi place not too far from the train station. Had a really awesome toy store with a neat Gundam and such. Nice. I was supposed to go back in April for another uh, world championship, but you know, all this crap happened. 
and that's no longer possible. I was really bummed, just looking forward to we had uh, planned to stay more time after the tournament, just kind of visit places and hang out. And obviously that didn't happen. Huge bummer. Hey, I'm glad you're not totally swamped with the move and everything. I also finished my MG Musha one curse you. Thanks much. Yeah, we're not totally swamped yet, but we're not really in the move yet. We're supposed to have the space. Uh, we're supposed to have, be able to take possession on the first, but it's probably really going to be like the third or something before everything is squared away. Or like delayed due to some uh, electrical stuff, supposedly. That's an interesting, I guess that's why that works the way it does. Does that like cycle through this whole thing or is it only... Huh. All right, well we've got a B Magnum down. We do that first draw. David, yeah, I'm waiting for my local HG and update stuff to come in for my local store because they take pre-orders. Looks wrong. Any recommendations on how I can get my coworkers in the building? Terry suggests you heckle them. You could send them reviews and stuff. I don't know. You could. Uh, it depends on how bad you want them into it. But you could could uh, gift them a really inexpensive kit or something. Walk them through the process. The interesting thing about this kind of hobby is it it can be a little intimidating for some people at first to dive in so if you can help reduce that mystique and get them uh, past their first build they might be more apt to stay with it you're halfway through a build and you realize you're missing part of the chest amazing how stuff disappears that sucks okay let's do this first draw we are drawing this uh drawing for the Full mechanics Grimgird. I showed this lit earlier. Giving this kid away tonight. So the, the usual process. I'm gonna give you guys a number range to drop a number in the chat. I'll draw a random number, and uh, if we get a winner, we get a winner. And if not, we'll draw again in 20, 30, 40 minutes, whatever that happens to be. So we got about 60 people in the chat. Let's do between one and 400. So if everybody can throw a number between one and 400 in the chat. Uh, no repeats, or sorry, don't post twice even if there is a repeat. If we have a conflict and multiple people pick the same number, we can uh, deconflict that. Oh, I did try building a kit during duty and usually ask if it was Legos or Transformers. It's probably what people are used to. If they build that kind of stuff, they'll probably be pretty, pretty open. FB and FA, I guess, is what I need. Uh, 
see. Let's see. There we go. I overlooked that one. Save the chips again. Find this random number generator again. Between one and four hundred. I got that queued up. I'm gonna put time in the chat. Okay. Time. I'm between one and four hundred. Three hundred. 25 325 oh I see a 326 and a 324 oh I gotta turn this, this on why did it back on top chat again go back to the numbers again 324, 326, another 324. I don't see a 15 and 19. So now building the hyper beam javelin. You get an MG Blitz in after the move. Can't remember if you said you were. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll probably be placing an order soon, next day or so. I don't know if that'll be tomorrow or Monday, maybe Tuesday, in anticipation of the move and get that process started. So I plan on basically going down the list and trying to grab as much of everything as I can. But I just don't know if the Blitz is available right now. Warehouse weird how Bandai never made a full armor variant in normal red colors. Yeah. You can always take the uh, most of the full armor stuff and swap it onto a uh, onto a red one. Does it does the full armor really appear with red colors very often, very long in the uh, anime? It probably isn't red very long, right? trying hard to uh, find some other ways of getting prizes. Uh, Victor, do you use any of those mad works yet? I have not. I really want to though. I think I might do some videos on it. And try to uh, learn and demo some of those tools. And I, uh, I definitely want to do like a comparison of their sanding sponges versus Tamiya versus God Hand versus the 3M that I use now. Hoping to get some other tool lines in so 
I want to see what they have because there might be a third comparison option for fourth or fifth or whatever we're at now. Fast and use one tools are going to be restocked. Which which tools fast? Which which ones are you talking about? Because we got a lot of different stuff from different places, so. Forty and FB one sixteen. I'm getting razor products, maybe. I plan to try to get as much as what I want. So people want stuff. I'll, I will stock it eventually it's just a matter of the order in which i go after things i've got a few few that i'm working on now and then after the move i'll hopefully be able to expand that some what tools i'm looking for nippers i'm really curious how good is mr sharpness for his god hand yeah it's one of the comparisons i want to do there um, as for nippers i'm working on an order to restock god hand stuff I don't know what the timing is on that yet because I think they're they have stuff coming in soon. So I'm kind of kind of waiting on their restock to take place at their U.S. branch or office or whatever. But we should be restocking that God hand soon. And then the other ones I don't know probably with the uh, the post move restocks. I'd love to see a Mavericks video. I'm going to start learning to scribe next month. I'd love to see some of the tools. Yeah, that'd be good, Kid Robot. i got to learn how to scribe. <laughs> I've played around a little bit, but I haven't done much. But now that I definitely have a good source for tools, uh, I, I want to start messing with that. I've only used the... Uh, what was it? Mr. Mr. Hobby, Mr. Tool, whatever it's called. Scriber which I don't think is on the same level as the Madwork stuff. The different thicknesses and all that stuff this, those uh, chisels have. Almost, I'm pretty happy with the Tamiya nippers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've heard some pretty good things about Tamiya nippers. Curious if anybody has any uh, great suggestions or ideas. We've had the uh, uh, what you call it um, PG Unicorn out there as our thing. If we hit a thousand, but everything's been kind of after we hit that 100 mark. I think the uh, that prize and that way of drawing things is a little bit far away. I think it's far enough that it's kind of uh, making people less inclined to jump in the chat or jump into the uh, the stream for that. 
So I've been kind of wondering what what to do if I should set maybe a 150 or 200 concurrent viewer goal. I'm planning to try the Cheeto flavored mac and cheese. I do not. I'm trying to figure out what to do next time. Planning another build contest soon. Not a big public one. We'll probably do one on the Discord. Uh, one of the skill builders, like we did. We did a skill builder, I think, really early this year. Much simpler, smaller contest, smaller prizes. But I'm not sure exactly what the uh, theme will be this time around. But I really need to get through the move first. We have too much going on. Do look into those kind art kits made by Aldi Toys. I have not yet. You should do 250 for a master grade. Well, it feels like if I do 250 for the same size thing that I did before, like I kind of want to escalate that a little bit, but I don't know what people think. This is FB, I need FA. for the PG. So the problem with, with like 350 or with any of these is that I think once we pass 100 by any sort of margin, things will shoot up a bunch. So like last time we broke 100, but we really broke 300 something because of the uh, YouTube algorithm just basically directed a lot of people towards the stream. And a bunch of them popped in, but then they uh, disappeared. Answer tools for every extra 100 viewers after 150. Maybe, it, maybe it's I like add a prize or something. I also want to keep it simple enough that I can explain it in like two sentences. But maybe I add a second prize after a certain point. Some pretty crappy characters in the next 200 ish viewers. Yeah, I brought in a lot of random people. So it was good in one hand because it showed it to a lot of people, and I think we uh, picked up some regulars from that stream, maybe. But at the same time, I think there were a lot of people that had no interest that got shown it and uh, showed up. So 
maybe I'll set a, uh, a new threshold for a master grade and set like an intermediate one to add an extra. Some extra prizes in the meantime. Like say we'll do a master grade at, you know, 400 or something since that's the next the next even 100 but if we hit I don't know if we hit 100 we'll add a high grade or something or 200 we'll add something I think there's some some ideas there Nelson Karras, you start seeing makes and orders and think Jesus, another three kits for this guy. There's definitely a few very regular customers that buy a good number of kits on a very regular basis. I see their names all the time. A small part of me wants to get like a, a small kid soccer trophy size trophy for the, uh, the biggest spender or something. <laughs> It's a DBZ group set. There you go. A129. Make room for the trophy in between the back lot. <laughs> Don't do that. My girlfriend will murder me. <laughs> Just have a few Hyakushikis on standby. That's a long ass piece. So I've been watching the show on uh, Amazon with my family. Um, was it Eco Challenge Fiji or whatever? Bear Grylls is the host. 
Has anybody been watching that show? Kind of makes me want to start adventure racing. Maybe I should just quit the whole Gunpla game and uh, get some friends in a backpack and some uh, mountain bikes or whatever. Already DN. So what's the actual process for moving everything to the warehouse? Rent a U-Haul, hire movers, get a bunch of friends with trucks to help you haul it all. Help them walk in the and walk them to the shop. If it's close, I'd help move a free gun plug. I don't think I'm gonna need that actually. I don't think I'm people a lot of people have offered help, including some people who are close. We'll see. But basically I'm gonna rent a, a U-Haul truck or something. I'll probably spend a day packing everything up here getting it down to the garage so it'll be easy to load up we'll spend roughly a day um, moving stuff over and unpacking it into the new space or unload the truck and starting to unpack it check everything in and whatever and then we will probably spend um, the third day finishing all the check-in of everything and getting everything up online and that's after probably a week of random trips over to uh, wait for internet hookup and setting up shelves and all the equipment that I'll need 17 18 20 there's an Olsen haven't seen yet binged all of Cobra Kai yesterday how was that Have you figured out organizing yet? You have a rough idea and go from there. So I've got a, a little map actually of where shelves will go and stuff. I've got a rough idea and there's like certain principles I know I should be trying to follow as best I can, like things that get picked frequently or get purchased frequently. Should probably be closer to the packing station than items that are purchased infrequently. But that's only you can only do so much to predict that. Um, so I've got a rough idea. We'll probably end up kind of winging it a little bit. The, the game plan though, because I have all the extra shelves, is I'm gonna get an app that will let me uh, pick for multiple orders and I'm gonna have a cart that I can wheel through and uh, basically pick for five or 10 orders at once and save trips walking through. And it should organize the pick list by location so I can actually uh, go through and just pick things in order. Mr. Molson is phenomenal, funny, cool to see the old actors in their old roles, like they never stopped playing them. Looking forward to season three. Interesting, cool. Always looks like a skilled master painter watching, painting watching this. If only I was good at what I do. I don't think this is quite the same as a master painter.
party as Mrs. Mecca Warehouse decide what to do with all the free space in the house again. I don't know that she's going to notice the free space because most of it's in the attic. Uh, I'm sure she'll be happy to get her side of the garage back and be able to start parking her car in the garage. So there'll be that. But other than that, she's not gaining much free space. Especially careful to move, knowing your standards, anything gets bumped around, you'll probably do a off the truck sale or something. Gotta keep that road up with a new store. Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit concerned about that. That's part of why I'm trying to sell off as much as possible. Because if I don't have to move it, it can't get damaged in the move. That and uh, full cases are much less susceptible to damage than uh, when I have to, uh, if I have to pack partial cases and stuff. Not killing my sinus, it'll kill me. Sorry, man, that sucks. I hate sinus pain. All right, and items purchased frequently should be closer to the packing station. Nick's gonna put a wall of Barbados in his packing station. At times, that could definitely be true. So trash can Bob dessert tonight. My, my wife made some cookies uh, yesterday. I haven't eaten any yet tonight. I was feeling a little gross when I started the stream, or right before I started the stream. We had just eaten dinner, and I, we were watching a movie together. Family movie night. I made the mistake of kind of laying down right after eating. And my stomach was not happy about it. So maybe I should uh, text her now that I'm feeling a little better and ask her for a cookie delivery. I guess we'll know if she's watching or something because she'll show up randomly with cookies maybe. Um, how long have you been working out of the house? So, when I started, I was using Amazon to fulfill orders, but we've been out of the house since, I don't know, probably a year and a half, maybe? Something like that. I mean, I've been, even when we were selling on Amazon, I, I had inventory here. I would process incoming inventory here before sending it back to Amazon, or off to Amazon to go in their warehouse, so it's been a little while. This is gonna be a, a big change. everything should be fine yeah it's hard to big boxes are where things get damaged though because the box integrity it's hard to get boxes heavy enough you pack a pg in a box even though it's big box already for shipping how big is it anyway i do put them in boxes they're sturdier boxes they're probably fine on their own but i don't want to risk dinging up those boxes what are the kits you send out the most um Mastergate Barbatos is definitely an all-time bestseller. It kind of depends on what we have at the time, what's going out the most. High-grade Nobels have been selling pretty well recently. What else do I see a lot of? It really, really fluctuates. Like if you could eat cookies or pie from now on, which would you give up? I'd probably only eat pie if I had that choice. Assuming I had choice over which kind of pie. Not kill it, this sucks, but it works. Snort salt water, it'll burn like hell, but it usually clears the sinuses. That sounds like something I can't condone. I don't know. I'd hit Google on that one. Make sure you know how you're doing it right. I think some of those water 
vapor or water directly into the nose things, if they're not done right, can go very bad. Ice cream sandwich. Ice cream cookie sandwich. That sounds awesome. Big chocolate chip cookies with ice cream in between. My wife does that sometimes. Those are awesome. You know what I have to ask my wife for now when I go downstairs. Ridiculous request of the week. We do more RG build streams from now on. I have no idea. I don't have it. I've only got like one other RG I plan to build in the near future, and I don't think I even have it here, so probably not a ton. I think next is going to be a bunch of uh, high grades painted builds and stuff and cleanup work on uh, finishing stuff up. I'm still working. I'm going to have a crew with me in a few. Sucks. I'm going to miss a stream. Bummer. But you got to do what you got to do. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Clear your sinus to eat some spicy Japanese curry. Sabi works great. Inhale whiskey. I it worked <laughs> the hard way. Sinus is neat bourbon. I'm going to have an ice cream sandwich in yours. Ice cream sandwiches are awesome. But it's even better when it's a big homemade chocolate chip cookie combined with, with ice cream. Way better. Man, I feel like I'm going to be on these weapons for another like three weeks. These are taking forever. Kasson spray and the best. I guess I inspect at least twice a year and spray some fluticasone as advised by my doctor, where it's well for minor sinus issues. Interesting. Good double air sheet cake with extra chocolate icing. Ooh. I really need to start working out more. Almost dessert talk. Makes me realize I'm probably losing my athletic body composition <laughs> nothing like medical opinions from the stream chat yeah disclaimer any medical advice given by members of the chat do not represent mecca warehouse mecca warehouse always recommends you consult a doctor for medical advice was great especially after a night at the bars before heading back to base oh jeez Chaz, actual doctor with an MD, MD, doctor with an MD, DO, etc. Well, uh, I don't know how we can verify credentials via a YouTube chat, so. Still probably not a great idea. I could be wrong. subscribe thank you Alex for the sub Dr. Daniels Dr. Jack Daniels squirrel what's up what's up squirrel Dr. Daniels, I'm a healer but what's this playlist Nick this is pretzel dot rocks and this is the epic station it's been my go-to for these these kind of streams and stuff
does this go in? There we go. Six and twenty-seven. I've set things on fire for a living, so I'm out on medical advice. My insurance won't cover them. I'm a shaman, so okay. Former pharmacist, but I hate things for a living, so now I'm a pharmacist. I've played Operation. Does that count? There we go. That's a good place to get advice. How is it? Jeez. Medical advice keeps getting better. the mecca warehouse playlist on the inside i think i'd get i'd drive me nuts i do it all the time i think i'll be getting some wireless earbuds when i move to the warehouse so i can uh, listen to my music while i pack orders and stuff tech and I'm not so sure about snorting salt water yeah I think it's worth the uh, double checking the airpods bro I don't know, aren't those the expensive like name brand option I got my wife some um, oh, what were they called Raycons I think for her birthday she likes those so and they're fairly inexpensive Discord has a jukebox feature. That's true. We need a Nix nocturnal playlist. I stayed at Holiday Express. Is that what it takes to feel refreshed? I need to sleep for like a full night for multiple days in a row. That would probably be a good thing for my my health. Anchor Soundcore wireless earbuds are fantastic, not too pricey either. Cool. I wonder where these all different different products stack up. Do that next draw soon. Why don't we start the draw now? It's been kind of later than it should be. So let's uh, let's decrease that number range. Let's go down to uh, 350. So if you guys want to throw a number between one and 350 in the chat, remember only throw a number once. No posting multiples. And uh, in a few minutes, I will uh, draw again. Oh, it's interesting to see how how much lag there is. Question from a kind of newbie: What's the difference between the sanding sponges and the sandpaper sanding sticks? I think it's just. Uh, kind of usage 
I like the sponges because they're easier to get into different areas areas sometimes. Sometimes the sanding sticks can be a little unwieldy. But the sanding sticks are a little more rigid. So they're not as good on curved parts. Sanding sponges definitely have an advantage there too. But if you really want something flat, the uh, sanding uh, sanding sticks might be better. Sandpaper, you can really get into small areas. In fact, I think some of the mad work stuff we just got in, there is a uh, I forget what you call it, but they make some sort of product that's basically designed to uh, put small pieces of sandpaper on and let you access smaller areas. Interesting axe here. All right, so one and three fifty. Your metal holders that you tape the sandpaper to, yeah, exactly. And tape or glue or whatever. So when you really want to get into those fine areas, definitely an advanced, uh, advanced skill there. Okay time in there between 1 and 350 86 86 I see an 87 Another 87, another 87, a bunch of 87s, but no 86s. So it looks like we've got to uh, try again. surprising two duds in a row it happens pretty regularly I'm not all that surprised sometimes you got to do like multiple draws in the last set of the night so okay triple hand grenades and I get to do these twice so FB one and two. I'm also not a doctor. I don't think a gun will make it better. I mean, it, it, I suppose it might provide some permanent relief, but probably too permanent. chili we had tonight if I could. <laughs> I can't I imagine boo shoot steam out of my head to relieve pressure. I 
I think you'd have some other issues if you had that, though. 14. Cut these out twice. FB15. Need 14. If you had it for multiple days, you might want to uh, talk to a doctor. You might have a sinus infection or something. You might need antibiotics or something like that. Tom, does the unicorn transform it does it it transforms into the uh, destroy mode or whatever I plan on uh, I think that's how I'm gonna display it when it's done I'm not supposed to get medical advice without my license active, but honestly, go to a CVS quick clinic and ask for a Z pack. Should clear up if used right. Interesting. Is that like an antibiotic thing? The Z pack, I feel like I've heard that in the last couple days, that term thrown around. Of 
Great Sanding Sponge do you use? I've got four grits that I use. Uh, do I have it? Usually I've got my little uh, chart out here somewhere. Something like 400, 600, 1,000, 1,500, something like that, I think are the, the grits I use. Some people definitely go way higher if they really want a polished, smooth surface. You probably don't need to go as rough as I'm at either. You probably start at like 600 instead of 400. Can you get that over the counter? Or I guess quick clinic, so you're, you're talking to some sort of medical professional. Making narrative Gundam Z packs. <laughs> no, I need a prescription. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. to get rid of seams if you need like 220 you're you're like borderline like part shaping and making drastic changes I'm going to do a 100 Kshatri, uh, is there already one? There is not a uh, Bandai one. I think there's a 1100 resin kit. I think there's actually like a 160 resin kit or something. I forget who makes it. Just imagine that would be a massive, massive kit, considering how big the box is for the 1144.
the Palm 144 today, and I mean that thing was big. Yeah, that's a big, big kit. I think your next live stream project should be a third-party resin conversion. I think I'm a ways off from that, man. All right, FA1. <laughs> PGEXS. Ugh, man, that'd be a huge kit too. What do you think about the dude 2200 ARC 78? That's that's a pricey kit. I can't imagine that's worth it to like 99% of people. FA2. Where is FA2? Would be awesome. I'm surprised they haven't done one yet. That's popular enough. I could see them doing it, but that would be massive. The MG already stands pretty tall, and the uh, RG stands pretty much as tall as the typical Master Grade, I think. I think it'd be super cool, but that would be another pricey kit. Search, like, did anyone ever find out if Mobile Suit Gundam Galactic was actually a thing or just a failed project? I've never heard of Gundam Galactic. What'd you hear about that? Of kits, we just needed MG Devil Gundam when they remember G Gundam exists. Oh man, that'd be another huge one. The fanfic with a really extensive wiki. Uh, interesting. PG Barbatos Lupus Rex. I could kind of see a PG Barbatos happening. I think someone was, I think there was a rumor going around about one. Like I said, I think it was a comment I saw today on the Mecha Warehouse post when I was playing catch up, trying to get on top of all the uh, social today. I and mean, that is a killer, just trying to stay on top of all that stuff. to see a revamp G Gundam line or they make them with newer materials it'll probably happen at some point they're kind of overdue those master grades are pretty old I don't know when that'll happen but feels like it should happen soon
Rumor for MGEX Barbatos. Oh, that'd be crazy too. Seems a little early for them to announce something like that though. Considering the, uh, the MGEX Unicorn is still a relatively recent announcement. Yo Ducks up everyone, how's it going? What's up Yo Ducks? HG Taurus, anyone? Obviously, I could talk about that all the time. Eduardo, hey Nick, sorry I'm late. How are you? I'm doing good, Eduardo. I'm alive. is an extreme version of the MS that get based off of would that mean a really big mace for the Bartos EX I think the extreme isn't like an extreme version it's like extreme features like the MG EX unicorn I think the big deal is the the LED system they're putting in it it's supposed to be crazy We're curious in the chorus I got to do all the uh, the wing high grades again Maybe some lighting effect parts for the eyes. It seems like they might tackle different things as the uh, special feature. FP1. Four is it? I need next. So a Barbatos could do something completely different as its main like selling point. Seeker. I wish there was a Taurus available. Same here. Hopefully they'll get to it. They seem to be working through the uh, the other high grades. We've got the Leo and the Maganac. I would I'd love to see a Taurus though. Taurus, Aries, um, Virgo. Definitely Virgo would be cool. If they're doing Virgo, then Mercurius V8 would be very no brainers. Aaron, I want an MG Astaroth. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more uh, IBO master grades in the in the future. Considering how well the Barbatos did. 
That was way overdue. I don't know what order they'll go in. But hopefully they'll get to some other ones. Cancer and Pisces. I think those those would be less likely to be done, but I think I'd love for them to do the whole hot, uh, Gundam Wing set. Makes sense for any of the Gundam frames from IBO to BMG. They already the full frame made. Yeah, I would think they might get around to it. It's such a popular show. And the kit was so popular, I think I could see them adding one, maybe two of those to the line every year. I think the MGEX unicorn is supposed to come out in September, right? So we should be seeing those fairly soon. Serpent. Serpent would be good too. We need a serpent. I've got one of the old 100 serpents and I'm planning on building and painting that at some point. I think that'll be really cool to do. One 100 high grade BBR2. I never finished watching the Wing series. That's probably why it was new to me. If you're going to watch it, you got to finish it. I think Wing was fairly good. A lot of the animations repeated though. armors but I think it's unrealistic to be made due to size costs I think that was kind of part of what the RE100 line was kind of designed for was to do those ridiculous size kits at a 100 scale but it doesn't appear that they've done a whole lot of them I mean, a lot of them they don't even have in 144th scale, so. Oh, excuse me. Wing is what I started on in high school that got me into Gunpla. That's what, that was my Gundam hookup, too. I think Gundam Wing got a lot, a lot of, uh, 30-ish year old crowd into uh, the show at least and probably the hobby too I want 50 New Year's Eel. God, that must be a tough one to pronounce. Judd Simon, hey Nick, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Worcester. Worcester is easy to pronounce. I should probably throw in a thicker Boston accent or something, but...
any more curious and V8 kits from Wing? There are some kits, but they're really old. I think there might be an old high grade as well as an old non grade 1144 scale. That kind of cool. Jap Japan decided to make a real Gundam and SL Korea just went the Mech Warrior route. The arms race in, the, uh, in Asia there. with G Gundam but fell off the Gundam scene until recently. I really need to see the G Gundam, I think. I think I remember seeing small bits and pieces, but I definitely never watched that show. Alright, almost done with these uh, triple hand grenades for the legs. And then I get to do more hand grenades for the bazookas. I don't think I've ever spent so much time on, uh, on just weapons and accessories. Scale Harrow, that'd be kind of interesting. Someone would probably buy it. That would probably sell. Judge Simon, how's the move to how's moving to the new place going? It hasn't really started yet. We're uh, we're running a sale right now, so if you want to help me with that move, you can uh, hop on and use that. Uh, Actually, maybe I should drop that link in there. Again, is that still in my paste there? Yeah, I'll put the moving sale link in there one more time. Uh, MW move, I believe, is the code. And uh, you'd say 15% on some select items are trying to get out of the way before the move. The space was supposed to be ready for September 1st, but that's not looking super likely at this point probably more like the third or something and then I'll have to get in there and uh, get the internet access get the shelving and all the equipment set up before the move so I'm hoping um, not next weekend but the following weekend will be moved in or moving in during the weekend depending on timing Or Isaac, can't see hello, hello all, boy, am I late? How are things tonight? Things are going good. I haven't missed the win yet. Speaking of which, I got to do another draw soon here. Too, but I think I spent so much money on P Bandai stuff and other things. No problem, dude. Oh, 
All right. Got the grenades for the legs. Looks like next time I'll have to do the uh, grenades for the bazookas, the missile launchers, the grenade launchers, the hyper bazookas. Still got the beam gatling guns right and left. Oh, jeez. And then all the shields. So there'll be at least one more stream, maybe two more before I'm done just assembling all this stuff. Uh, so anyway, before we wrap up, let's do it one more draw. I think this is going to be where I call it for tonight because I think I'm running out of steam, mentally speaking. So let's draw another number. Let's do a number between... Uh, Yeah, I think that's where I want to wrap up. Let's do a number between 1 and 100. Number between 1 and 100 in the chat. Please only post one number each. And uh, don't, don't worry about conflicting numbers with anybody else in the chat. We can deconflict those as we go. So let's, uh, let's see some numbers. Projected mine, thanks to your sale. I picked up my first Kotobuki kit, and it's a pretty sweet looking armored core kit, that, so I'm pretty excited. That'd be cool. Let me know how that goes. Some of those look really interesting. I was never really into armored core, but there are definitely some interesting designs there. <laughs> Daniel, I think Nick needs a real Haro assistant. That would probably be good. Alex McDonald just ordered the RG Synergy from the moving sales. Super excited. Awesome, Alex. Thank you. Michael Cruz took me 10 days to snap fit the full armor unicorn. How many hours per day? Because I'm on like my like seventh stream. Do had a couple, two to three hours each. Kevin just got the stream. Hey Kevin, welcome. Put numbers between one and one hundred. two hours yeah it sounds sounds about right I mean I'm most of the way through I'm probably at like my seventh sixth or seventh stream so I probably got another couple for these weapons and stuff and then I gotta do decals and top coats and all that stuff probably take me like a whole stream just to transform this thing oh, I still got the thrusters to do too <laughs> so much stuff Oh man. Yeah, there's some serious lag going on. Draw this number in a second here. Alright, let's put time in here got number 23 excuse me pizza's coming back up do we have a number 23 a lot of numbers in the chat now oh kid robot builder is a number 23 anybody else Let's see the second one. I gotta look again. Oh, this way, right up towards the top, 23. So that, that's two. So we got DS and Kid Robot. Okay, so we got two winners. So I'll flip a coin here. Flip my beautiful Mecha Warehouse Discord coin here. Got heads and tails, I guess. Um, I don't know who wants to uh, pick heads or tails. I guess whoever mentions it first, whoever calls it first. So Diswig and Kid Robot. If you want to call heads or tails, whoever gets it first, then I'll flip here.
Tails, okay, Desi DS Wigs got am I pronouncing that right? Called Tails. So if it ends up this side, DS Wig wins. At this side, um, Kid Robot Builder will get it. So I gotta I gotta get to actually to flip. This is a really hard coin to flip, man. It's like what, two inches. Two inches uh, diameter. It's kind of ridiculous coin. You know what? How about this? I'm just gonna spin it. D swag. Okay. Sorry for not pronouncing that right. Be afraid to break my thumb flipping that. To be honest. Yeah, thumb sprains are a real, real threat. Let me get this out of the way. This could take, take something out over here. I'm just gonna spin it. Of course it spins off. I have to trust me that I'm just sliding this onto the mat. We got tails. So D Swig takes it. So uh, I don't know if you've been around for many of these, but hopefully you know the drill. If not, um, I want you to send me a DM with your contact info. DM or email nick at mechawarehouse.com. Be prepared. I might ask you questions to verify that it's you because we've had some people try to cheat and steal in the past. But if you can do that, that would be great. And uh, we'll send that out on uh, Monday. So I think that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back at it hopefully next Saturday. <clears throat> I don't foresee anything uh, holding us up next Saturday, so I'll catch you then. We'll be giving away something else, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Take advantage of that 15% uh, off sale, or the Live 10 if you want stuff that's not available in the sale, and yeah, see you guys.